another vlog. I'm Sam. This is Ty. He's eating his Duncan. <laughs> I won't pan on you. Very good. Mm. Um, yeah, wow, look at that. <laughs> this is the start of a new vlog. And a lot has happened since the last time I vlogged. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever gonna post the other stuff. I would get emotional. But you guys notice when there's something different about the car. My favorite blanket is in there. And it's our first ride to it's our first ride to Maine, right? But no. But I have him right here. So he's going for a ride. And we got a little piece of him. And we have a little travel <laughs> Travel ashes. Travel size. Travel size ashes. But our Oki Man, I don't know if I ever mentioned it in the other videos. I forget, so I might just put it here. But our Oki Man suddenly, very rapidly declined and passed away in March. It's now April. So it's been a little rough. Rough. Rough, rough. <laughs> But we're doing okay. We're not moving on, we're moving forward. Today, later today, I have a, an appointment with me plastic surgery. I'm gonna maybe do some Botox. We're gonna touch up the lip before the wedding. What else is going on? We're doing an escape room on Saturday, which I probably, I don't know if I'll vlog that because I'll be like in it. I'm good at escape rooms, but yeah, just a little family weekend. Um, with Ty's family, and then we're babysitting my brother's little dog, so we get some doggy snuggles. So you guys get to meet Brady! <laughs> Say hello to the vlog. Say hi, Auntie Sammy. Hello. Yeah, and then, hello, look at this little bum. And we're vlogging. Because I just realized that the first time that I started this vlog, we were on our way to Maine on Thursday, and I haven't vlogged since. So we're on our way back. We are puppy sitting. Where is he? Hello. He's <laughs> back in the corner. My brother's dog, and we're gonna go to the beach with him before we go back home. But I didn't get Botox. I didn't get my lip done. I kind of got allergies. It wasn't like a full-on cold, it wasn't COVID, anything like that. It was just like this weird sniffle thing, so. A runny nostril. Runny nostril, and I was like, I don't think numbing my face for Botox and lips is a good idea, because I would've just been like a butterfly. But, oh, there he is. There he is. And he, absolutely loves Ty. I think he likes me too, but he like, loves Ty. He's Oh, he's being shy. This is sleepy boy. Oh, I thought you, had, you were using the camera. Hello. 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 Uncle Ty is sewing your hole that you made, sir. out for you. This is the blankie for the Brady. No bites, just kisses. Just kisses. I know. I just a baby. I just a baby. I am gonna get ready for my last dress fitting, my last wedding dress fitting. And I figured I would kind of do my hair and makeup this time but I feel like I should go and like kind of look like a bride today and like really feel it so I'm going to get ready but I also figured that I would kind of give you guys an update on what's been going on so 
think I've mentioned it a few times, but my family dog, Gabriel, passed away. It was so sad. It's still it's so sad. Um, so I had that heartbreak. And then my dog, like, Gabriel was like my brother. Then me and Ty had a dog, Oakley, which you guys have probably seen. Started acting really weird and having seizures and peeing himself and drastically losing weight. Like I was taking pictures of him and I noticed like the weight difference. It was just crazy. And the doctor was like, dogs don't try to lose weight. Like there's something wrong. So we lost Gabriel within two weeks, lots of money and vet appointments later, Oakley passes away. And I think I'm finally at a point now where I can talk about it without like breaking down. But literally both of my dogs <laughs> passed away within two weeks of each other. Unexpectedly, it's just weird that like I'm great, not grateful, but like I'm just, it's comforting to know that they are going through the same kind of pain that me and Ty are going through. So me and my, me and my parents, me and Ty, we've all been kind of in the same boat of just like grieving and asking God like why this is happening because they were perfect, so sweet angel boys. Now they're really angel boys and it was just really, really hard. It is really hard. So we lost both of our dogs, but then I had the pageants happening, which I made a vlog about. I thought Oakley was fine. Um, so I had the dogs pass away, trying to learn how to grieve, trying to grieve about my dog. It's just so different and so hard. And then I have the pageants where I'm trying to be excited for people, but also like what's happening in my actual life. And I had just left my job. I had just left like my pretty steady office -y job and now I'm on my own and all of these things happen and my world is just shaken up and I don't really know where to, where to go or what to do. That's where I've been but I've really been wanting to I think like when I'm stressed or sad or anxious or anything I really just tap back into like my creativity so I've been painting more I'm gonna open my shop back up again because now I have time to like paint for people my commissions um back to vlogging again like literally for the last it's almost been a month I've literally had no desire to do anything and usually like I'm a very driven person so it's been really weird but today I'm going to Lulit like I said for my last wedding dress fitting I've been to two uh, another thing I want to talk about was so it was like over two years ago, I got my dress, I picked it out, and we customized it and stuff, it's so stunning, and now I'm kind of annoyed because now like what, what I picked is like kind of a thing now, and I'm just like, oh, I did it two years ago, but it doesn't, honestly that doesn't matter, that's just me being silly, but, so I picked my dress out two years ago, before like the real shutdown happened, before the shutdown happened? Anyway, I was skinnier than what I was now. And I know I've touched on that before in my, like, New Year's vlogs and stuff, like, and leaving my job, like, how I just, like, gained, like, stress weight. So the first time I went to go try on my dress, since purchasing it, um, was the day after Gabe died. And she was tight. She was so tight. So I was really sad, because I was, like... I wanted to be perfect, but obviously my body fluctuated so much during COVID and like my job and everything and just stress that my waistline was definitely different. The lady was like, okay, come back in like a month. Um, we'll see how you are there. Like not saying try to lose weight, but she was like, there's a lot going on. Just kind of try to live your life, relax, eat well, all those things. And we'll see where you are in a month. So I obviously losing Gabe, I get like kind of depressed between that and running around stressing about Oakley, losing Oakley, not at my stressful job anymore, um, and I lose, I don't know how many pounds because I don't have a scale, but pants are fitting differently, dresses are fitting differently, like I just know that there's stuff moving and stuff's happening. So I go back, uh, was it last week? And it fit, the dress fit, which was amazing. 
but we did like a sit test kind of like a bend down like sit um and she's tight like boobs come up like bridgerton like i'm like in a corset it felt like i was in a corset um so i knew and she was like you did really good but like my wedding's in a couple weeks and she was like i'm not gonna make you like like stress out and um what am i trying to say she's like i'm not gonna make you go crazy and try to lose weight and get unhealthy to fit into this dress she's like we have options so which was really nice the dress definitely fit better but we needed to like if i wanted to sit and actually like be able to breathe a little bit more um i had to add like a panel or a little extra in the back to zip up um which was just really i don't know i was really upset with myself about that but also i was excited that it did fit better than it did a couple weeks ago when i first tried it on so we added a panel and that's what i'm gonna go try on today i'm excited to try the dress on i know it'll fit better i got it hemmed i'm excited all coming together but yeah lost weight from being stressed i think I'm just taking the time to sleep in listen to my body which is so important no one ever talks about that no one talks about it we all get so stuck stuck in the wake up go to work like commute stress about your job eat shitty food like i don't know being on my own schedule has definitely helped my mental health and my physical as well so i'm actually just doing a gua sha with my hand right now i feel like sometimes with my own hands um i get better results but yeah so that's where i'm at but yeah i'm excited to get back into painting it's good for the soul you know and some people are like oh my god you uh I didn't know you painted and I was like yeah I don't know I feel like I've always painted I've always been super artsy so but I don't always post it I don't know what people think I am on Instagram I just wear cute outfits sometimes I don't know <laughs> it was Miss Maine one time like I don't know yeah so oh and then we went to go babysit um or dog sit my brother's dog this past week which you guys kind of saw a little bit on the vlog but he is so cute and it was so nice to kind of have that companion for a little bit even though it made me really miss oakley and gabe but it was so nice to just get some fuzzy little loves he was such a good doggy um but i had like not allergies but like sniffles or something i like kind of got like a quick run down cold and so I was supposed to get Botox and get my lip fixed before the wedding and I couldn't because I wasn't feeling good and I didn't want my face be to be numb while they were doing stuff to my face. So I'm going to go mm, 28th. So I scheduled a lift. I feel like whenever I schedule it, they come like so much earlier. Okay, they're not here yet. Good. Yeah, I feel like this is super chatty, but... Also, I have a bunch of vlogs from last year, the summertime, so many different things that I vlogged that I have just sitting there because I didn't have time with my job to like edit them and post them. And I really want to post them because I had fun and they're fun memories and it'll be fun to like look back on. But I feel like, I don't know, are they irrelevant now? Like, do people even care if they're irrelevant or do they even care? Like, I don't know. I kind of want to post them. I really haven't put makeup on in so long. Oh, that's another thing. So since the dogs have passed, getting dressed and going out and doing things and putting on makeup and like doing my hair has been something so rare. I literally just like want to wear sweatpants, comfy clothes, hair in a bun. I like don't want to do anything. Sometimes even brushing my teeth is like hard, but I try to do little things every day. Take a shower, brush my teeth, make my bed. Can you see my bed right now? No, you can't see it. It's not made right now, but little things to kind of just get you through the day. I know I'm like super chatty, but I feel like we haven't really talked, so 
Oh, what's going on in your life? What is something great that is happening? I need to know. My makeup right now that I'm doing is just my everyday makeup. Actually, I did a video on it when I was super pale. <laughs> it's linked on my channel, so go check it out. Why is my eye bloodshot? What the heck? Oh, also. Ouch. Ow. I feel like that hurt way more than it should have. I just like rolled my ankle on this wire. Why did that hurt? But yeah, I'm going to bring my podcast back. And I was listening to the Skinny Confidential, and she was like, this is not a safe space. I was like, you know what? Screw a safe space. No, we need those. <laughs> but um, I really like, though, how she's just so open and curious about people's lives. And I agree. Like, the first time I did my podcast, which all the episodes are gone now. I don't know where they went. So I like have to start over, but it's okay. Fresh start. Anyway, um, yeah, I like how she's just open and honest and curious. Where the first time around when I did my podcast, I was like, I want to make sure that no one is mad at me. That it's super safe. No one says anything wrong. No one's gonna come back at me. Like, honestly, screw that. Like, I want to have really cool girls. Probably some men too, but. I think I want to focus it on women just being badasses and like navigating life because honestly life is hard sometimes it really is like I know I'm blessed to be like in an apartment right now with like the sun is shining I have a roof over my head I'm going to try on my wedding dress like I know there's good things in my life but there's definitely like we all go through different little battles and challenges and how we navigate them I think is so empowering um as women and i don't know i think i would love to have some conversations not just to inspire people but to get people like curious too like i don't know lauren kind of just like inspired me to switch up the vibe a little bit like if you come to my podcast i want it to be like oh you know this person's gonna be dope they're probably gonna teach you something it's not just like oh what's your success story like i don't know I'm going to shut up and curl the rest of my head. This is my finished look. My camera died while I was curling my hair, but... while ago from my fitting it was a crazy morning but the dress is perfect 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 um that's a tiktok sound right now and so i just did a tiktok or a reel um where it's like it's perfect 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 um and yeah i just made a reel about it because it's so perfect and i thought while i was all dressed and stuff why not i have a meeting in a second with my family like my dad and my brother are running a basketball camp based off of the book that my dad wrote about about my brother um in my hometown this summer so i'm actually helping with the coordination and just overall branding of it so we have a call at four which i think is like two minutes um my mom's on the call as well and then i have some emails and some more work i have to do later tonight but um, i'm gonna have some lunch and i think it's so nice out right now that i think ty and i might grill outside or go for a walk or something later so um Say hi to the vlog. Hey, hey Sammy. Oh, no. What's up, man? What's up? I sit up late, guys, to get ready for this meeting. Um, but we got a lot of great notes. You guys had a lot of great ideas uh, about how the days can go. One of the big ones was having a... So I had gotten Ty this candle from Yankee Candle um, a few years ago for Christmas and the flavor or scent was called Cinnamon Roll with Oakley's face on it because that was his nickname. 
and it was a cinnamon candle. And then we burned it all after Oakley passed away. We hadn't even burned it really since we've had it, but when it, after he passed away, we burned it and it ran out. But my mom makes candles, so she sent us some wax and cinnamon um, like essential oil. We do need a little bit more wax, but it's a good start. It's been a month without Wookie Man. But the candle's just gonna set for a bit and it'll be ready in a few hours. Good morning. We are, I'm a little late, but we are gonna go to Maine today for, um, to visit Maine Plastic Surgery. We are doing a little wedding skin prep. Um, I'm getting a facial and then uh, we may touch up the lip a little bit and maybe some Botox, which I've never gotten before. So like a little nervous, but um, also excited to see everybody. It's been a while. It's cold today. It's like sunny, but it's cold. I've been taking my Arnica, Arnica tablets before, um, before when you get like your lip done. I don't know about Botox, but definitely when you get your lip done. Um, you can't really take any like blood thinners. So you just do Arnica. I notice a lot, a, like a difference between um, using Arnica versus not using it. My skin's not super bad, No, right? it's not. A little bit of peach fuzzies that will definitely yeah. <laughs> make photos nice and crisp, though. She got little oils. Normal. Yeah, skin looks really clear. Hi, Glenn. Texture feels smooth. Gonna start to feel a little bit of steam coming on. Gorgeous. What is this? So this is the hydrating cleanser. So we are going in with a nice creamy cleanser to grab any excess oils. This is also a really nice cleanser to help to remove any makeup that you might have on your skin. I love how it foams up. So even though it's a cleanser and it's cleaning, it is gonna leave a little bit of moisture on your skin to help with that inclusive mm. barrier. Um, and where you're a little bit on the drier side, it's perfect. Look at all that fuzz already. Yeah. <gasps> one side down, one wow. side to go. She was peachy. She's a lot of pictures. <laughs> Georgia Peach. Yeah. Holy moly. Look at my face. My peaches. <laughs> The main component of this is to cause lightness to the under eye. A lot of times we experience darkness, which unfortunately is hereditary, but also sometimes with the loss or breakdown of fat pads, we're able to see a little bit more of that vascularity, which is where sometimes that purplish color is coming from. Oh yeah, definitely get that. Yeah. <laughs> we all do every once in a while. Um, staying up on your hydration, drinking water, that makes a massive difference as well. So if you are feeling a little dehydrated, that will actually impact um, the appearance of your skin. So anytime your skin is dehydrated, any fine line that you have will look worse, unfortunately. Oh. Little bit of growth factor going on. Okay, so growth factor is gonna stimulate your fibroblasts, which is what your collagen and elastin fibers are made out of. So super important to be doing a topical application. Um, sometimes people take um, collagen shots, so like orally, um, but that's also too why we talk about doing deeper treatments because we are looking to stimulate the skin from within for an anti-aging 
Mm -hmm. Builds to your skin, keeping your skin nice and clear for the upcoming week. Mm -hmm. So we're going in with an ultra sheer. This is an oil and fragrance free product. So you don't have to worry about this oversaturating or causing blemishes or any acne prone issues. So it's really, really smooth. That was amazing. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It kind of has a nice cool effect that you like. My skin is glowing. Yeah, it looks really good. You needed that. I That's did. <laughs> fuzzies <laughs> off of there. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, girly, it looks awesome. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Wow. I know. So this is like immediately after and my face is a little bit numb still from, I don't know, lidocaine? Go lidocaine? Um, but basically to numb so you can't even feel like, I can't even feel it when she gets into my lip, it's crazy. But you can see I can't even move like the top of my lip yet, um, but it'll come back. But this is just like right, right after. And the swelling will go down a little bit as well, but. Up. Okay, so Sunday <laughs> and it's gorgeous out. Ty and I are getting married in five days. We're already married, but we're doing like our ceremony in five days. Um, and so we're off to Target. I'm just holding this so it doesn't fall. Uh, we're going to Target and TJ Maxx and a few other places to get some last minute travel thingies. Yeah, so we're going to end the vlog here, and next time you see us will probably be, the next vlog you see is probably going to be the wedding stuff, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.